Let's bring in Democratic member of the House Oversight Committee, Congressman Ro Khanna of California. A lot to talk with you about, and I know these negotiations right now are happening over in the Senate. But overall, uh, what is the hope for funding for aid to Israel and Ukraine getting through? Well, we hope the Senate sends us something. Unfortunately, in the House, we're busy debating and voting on trivial matters as opposed to what the American people want. I mean, yesterday we voted on whether to censure Jamal Bowman for pulling a fire alarm uh, where the American people want us to get aid to Ukraine, to vote on Israel, to vote on Taiwan. Uh, they want us to make sure we have a budget. And that's just not the agenda of the House Republicans. Right. It's unserious. And certainly we heard yesterday, I got some new reporting, Congressman, about how senators from both sides of the aisle are really calling for the White House to take a more active role in these negotiations. The, since that first few months of the president's time in office, they've largely taken a hands-off approach, letting Congress sort it out. Uh, but now there's a hope here the president will come in and act as a closer, as, as you mentioned. Uh, the, the clock is really ticking uh, towards the end of the year and then also government funding expiring. But I wanted to ask you in particular, there have been a lot of Democrats, progressive Democrats, really reluctant uh, to put in a lot of uh, these measures at the border, fearful that they evoke some of the policies even put in place by Donald Trump. What do you think is an acceptable amount of border security? Is what they're talking about too far? Well, we absolutely need border security, but the biggest thing we need is more uh, border uh, agents and immigration judges and processing folks on the border. Here's what the Republicans are talking about. They want to eliminate parole. Now, parole is what the president used to have Ukrainian refugees come into the United States. Parole is what he has used to have Afghani uh, refugees who helped our troops in Afghanistan come to the United States. Parole is something every president has used. To take that away is to undermine our fundamental values. So they are so extreme, and it's actually not going to solve the issues at the border. Congressman, good morning. So a lot of what Republicans want to this to be tied to is foreign aid, as you just said, including for Ukraine. There is real concern. We've heard from the Biden administration. We've heard from the Pentagon that without this $106 billion new package of aid to Ukraine, that Vladimir Putin could roll through Ukraine and get his wish, that he's playing the long game, he, that he's hoping that the West has worn down, that America will lose its will to support Ukraine. Are you confident that somehow, some way, that aid will get to Ukraine soon? I can't say I'm confident given the Republican position. And here's what I don't understand. I mean, I've supported the president's policy from day one. I uh, really admire the Ukrainian people and standing up uh, to Putin. But even if you had doubts, you ha you're now a year, uh, over a year into the war. Why would you now, given all of the resistance, suddenly want to give Putin a blank check to just march into Kiev and stop uh, supporting Ukraine. Wouldn't you want to, even if you want the war to end, wouldn't you want Ukraine to be fighting and holding on uh, to their sovereignty while you're calling for negotiations? It makes no sense. And the other thing that makes no sense is trying to tie it to border security. We had a rebellion in the House for quote unquote single subject bills. They wanted to vote on one issue at the time. Why can't we have an up and down vote on Ukraine, Israel, Taiwan? Why are we linking that to comprehensive immigration reform? They're two different issues. All right, Democratic Congressman Rokana of California, thank you very much for being on this thank morning. You.